What's up YouTube? All right, this video we're gonna take the spark plugs, the accessories, all the rest of the stuff off. This is part two and let's get to it. And obviously the spark plugs are a 5 8 spark plug socket. These feel pretty, pretty tight in there. Probably a bit over torqued or they're probably old and from the heat just seized up a little bit. We'll take a look and see what they look like on the on the end. See if any of them look like they were foul or anything like that. And that will kind of help me diagnose whether or not I want to get further into taking the head off or anything like that as well. All right, we're going to check two, four, six, and eight. We get two. And actually, if we'll focus on there. It doesn't look too bad. It's two, four. Well, not so bad. Six. Mostly the same. And eight. Yeah, so they all look not too bad. They all look pretty decent. Have, I don't know, kind of the same wear on them, kind of the same burn. So it doesn't look like any one cylinder is particularly bad in two, four, six, and eight. So let's check one, three, five, seven. All right, taking a quick look at one, three, five, and seven. We have one. It looks, mm, looks all right. Three. These look a little a little richer on this side. Five. They got a little more black on it, a little more. And seven. Let's check them out together. One, three, five, and seven. And they look maybe a little richer, but they still look reasonably well. All right, so we need to get some new spark plugs. All right, so far I have, I got the exhaust manifolds off, got the coil packs off, engine mounts off, spark plugs and wires off. And let's see what else I gotta get. I should probably just go ahead and take this EGR Thing off but it's just on here well maybe after accessories let's get some of the accessories off let's go ahead and probably get the serpentine well let's get them all off maybe well, I, don't know, I think maybe trying to get the harmonic balancer might be a little easier with all the accessories on either way I'm gonna need to get probably what I'll do is get a bolt or a uh, a socket, put it on one of these and then get it braced against this so I can use that for leverage. So I think let's try doing that. Well, getting off the harmonic balancer, a little more effort, a uh, little more effort than I expected to do by myself. So I'm gonna get uh, someone else to help me on this one. But until then, we can get some of these accessories off. Well, they make taking off belts so much easier than they used to. So you have your main drive belts and then you have your AC belt. And you take a 15, put it up here, just pull down. And then your main drive belt comes off. So you have it around the pulley down below the harmonic balancer, around 
below the alternator around the power steering and the water and it just pops right off same thing with the AC one all you do is just put it right here just pull and just comes right off so much easier than the uh, KA24s where you have a tensioner and you have to do all that crap all right, the AC looks like it's held on by four bolts. You got the two bolts down here and the two bolts up top. These are still 15s. And if you don't have an AC, well, you know, if you don't plan on running AC, you don't have to worry about this. And I think when I first put it back in the car, since I'm not gonna have the AC working right away, I think I'll leave this off. Since the belts are so easy to put on, and this is off to the side, it looks like it would be a pretty easy thing just to, to add on later, so. I'll probably just put this in a box, uh, wait until I get everything running nice and smooth, and then uh, start working on the AC. The nice thing about starting to work on this uh, project now is it's only gonna be getting cooler, and I won't need AC. Uh, I will use, I am doing the heater core though. I will come back and do this. I'm not gonna do the, the bypass. I do want heat as well. Uh, I do hear it gets pretty hot on the uh, the trans tunnel side, and I think that that might be because maybe the sound deadening's out and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if it gets too too hot, I'll you know I'll put some heat wrap or stuff like that in there. But these 15s bolts come on out and I mean it looks like it's fairly easy I, I'll probably end up putting the uh, the bracket don't forget I want to make sure I don't forget where everything goes there's a uh, another piece here I guess maybe maybe the wiring or something probably snaps in there so I'll uh, pay attention to that. I am really excited to get this uh, engine going and in. There's so many, I mean, it's so many things start to nickel and dime you that, I mean, I'm trying to get everything ready before I start, as many things as I could think of. and. As you see, this is a really long bolt on top. There's a short bolt, keep that in mind. These are ones going through, all the way through, down into the brackets. I mean, there's things like oil pressure gauge, water temp gauge. If you don't wanna use the water temp gauge, you can, uh, I mean, there's stuff, from, you know, you can get an adapter or make an adapter uh, and drill and tap it to go into the <coughs> into the back side of the passenger cylinder head where you can use the stock uh, temperature gauge but I'd rather know you know more exact than just oh it's warmed up or something like that if I could have both that would be really that'd be kind of cool uh, but I'm not too worried about that all right well, that's the AC compressor off. And you, you can, as you can see, it has its own bracket here with its own tensioner. So take these bolts out. I'm really, I'm willing to bet these four bolts, this bracket comes out. And then you have, you know, the tensioner, the bracket and the AC compressor all out in one movement and if you didn't want to run it, you just leave that stuff off. All 
Alright, as, as you can see, I have the AC bracket taken off. And normally I just put back the bolts where they belong so I don't run, don't forget. But I gotta do some cleaning and stuff like that and I might not put it on for a little while. So I'm gonna put all these uh, bolts in a zip uh, Ziploc and label them for where they go. Let's move on to the alternator. Uh, just before I moved to the alternator, I wanted to make sure I remembered the setup is like this to where the tensioner is on the bottom and then just the, the regular wheel is up top, the fixed wheel. All right, before we get started on the alternator, just want to point out for myself and for everyone else, the alternator looks like a really long bolt goes through here. Another long one goes through back here and then one right here that's to take the alternator out then for the alternator bracket it looks like it's two brackets there's the two bolts down there for the back alternator and then looks like it's this one bolt to take this off so let's go ahead and get that off The alternator is it's pretty snug in there uh, held on between these two so just kind of rock it and you can pull it out uh, just a reminder the two long bolts go into the front and the short short bolt goes into the back all right we're taking off the alternator bracket now and right down through the middle is a 15 and I like how everything has been a 15 so far. Just makes things easier to, to deal with. You only have one size. But I noticed on the, the back alternator brackets, those look like probably 13s. They could have kept everything 15. It would probably just been really nice. But, oh well. So taking off the alternator bracket you have the one you have the one fixed wheel you can see how that's been worn a little bit but should be fine that clearly could use some cleaning up and uh yeah let's get off this back one this back one switching to a 13 Also, the thing that's nice or something you need to be careful with is because it's an aluminum block, things are not torqued down very tight. So you want to make sure you follow your torque specifications because if you over torque and strip a block, that's just going to be a real pain in the butt. And that's something that would not be fun to try to fix. I mean, you could. You'd end up having to drill and tap, but then what if you end up getting into bad space and a whole load of mess. So just be careful when you're doing this stuff. You don't want to strip your uh, your aluminum block. All right, well, alternator uh, pulley is off, or and alternator is off and the brackets. All right, now that the alternator and brackets are off, we can move to the power steering pump. We have one 15 on top, and then there's another 15 on bottom. Uh, if, if they end up having, if they are long enough, we'll have to uh, manage it so they go through here. So I guess you could use a socket and get through it this way, or just use a wrench, and go that way. I, I think I'm gonna do a socket. That way they're long enough, they just come right on out. All right, I'll line up the hole. bolt not a 15 that's uh, 13 I need 15 all right got my 15 on here now so line it up through the hole easy enough spin it to line it through the, the bottom one hold the pump up 
I don't plan on changing any of these pulleys to underdrive pulleys or anything like that, so I don't have to worry about any of that, which is something else you could do to add a little more power. I mean, I'm gonna be in the timing chain. I could do it, I could have done the cam as well, but I wanted to see what it was stock, and I wasn't sure about the, um, about tuning. I, I wasn't sure if the, you know, the computer right away should uh, handle everything stock, so it shouldn't have to, to go in to get a tune. All right, next nice thing to get the pump. I can take this off or I can look at taking this reservoir off, which might just be easier, have it all as one piece. So I don't have to worry about this hose. Just get a screwdriver on the back, back pop it up. And it snaps right on off. Just slides right down in there. Just pop that back, pops right off. Now that I have the AC compressor, alternator, power steering, and the brackets for each of those, I think the last thing I really need to get is this water pump. And it looks like it's the three bolts here, three 10 millimeter bolts, and the three 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts here. getting the harmonic balancer off and maybe pulling the dipstick back off. Outside of that, it is ready to go for the maintenance stuff I wanna do and prepping for cleaning and after a clean, then start on the swap kit stuff. I still gotta show you what I have for the swap kit stuff. Uh, went with Sicky, as I've probably said before but I'll break down and show you the things that came with the kit that I got and uh, what I feel about it. But next, we gotta end up getting this clean up. So I got a lot of stuff on the ground. I got the power steering pump, got the alternator and the brackets, got the old motor mounts, exhaust manifolds, exhaust manifold bolts and gasket, spark plugs and the uh, belts as well as the old spark plug wires which are going to go in the trash the AC compressor and bracket as well as the old water pump I am going to be using this neck still and I need to take the uh, the bracket off and inside is the thermostat I'll probably just get another thermostat unless it looks relatively new uh, just one of those things that you know, as maintenance, you spend a couple dollars, you get it done, you know if, you know it's not an issue unless it's, it's faulty, I guess, but. All right, well, let's get some of this stuff cleaned up. <laughs> 